Hi, I'm Jason, a content manager at Influx Data. Hi, my name is Sunbury, and I'm a technical writer at Influx Data. And today we're going to be talking about batching data with the Python client library. So, Sunbury, first question to you, uh, why Python? So, Jason, I've been using Python for the past five years now, and it's definitely grown on me. To me, it's a very easy to learn language, and it was very easy for me to pick up. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. You know, if we're, if we're using Python, something that we're familiar with, to learn something that we may not be as familiar with. Yeah, that's right. Cool. So we got some Python code up here. Can you maybe explain to me what's going on up, up top here? Yeah, so today we're going to be speaking about the Python client library, more specifically the Write API class. Um, and so the Python client library Write API class was designed to let you send your write requests with batching. Um, additionally, you're able to send these requests in a variety of different data formats of your choice. Um, and so as you can see here, we have the configuration options set up here. Um, you have your batch size, which we've set to 5,000. Um, that means that you can send up to 5,000 data points within one write request. Okay. Um, additionally, we have all these other options, and we have a retry logic that's uh, set up here for you to use. Um, it includes things like max retries, retry interval, and an exponential base for your back off. Okay, so so this this is uh, the framework for a batch. This is saying we we want a batch, and these are the parameters, and, right. and these are pretty consistent across Python. These these parameters here. Yeah, so most of these API requests would have something similar to this. Okay, and, and just just to clarify, the value for the these are in in milliseconds, right? That's correct. Yes. All right, cool. So we've established that we want to use batching. Um, why why would we use it? So batching allows you to send your requests with a higher throughput. Um, essentially, this means that you would be writing your data more efficiently. Okay, so instead of paying to, to, to ship every single point individually, you batch them together, send them in bulk. Yes, and that's save, exactly right. Sa sa save on travel costs. Yep, just that's, like that. That sounds like a, a, a great thing to do. All right, so we've established, like I said, that we want to do batch, we've configured our, our, our batch, and now we need to write some data points, we need to fill up this, this mm -hmm. We want those 5,000 data points if we can get to it. So what are, what are our options for writing data? Yeah, so as you can see here, we'll go ahead and first instantiate our write API class. Um, and within the write API class, you'll have a write function. This write function allows you to pass in a variety of different data formats. And so as you can see here, this is going to be InfluxDB's line protocol. Um, if you've been using InfluxDB for a while now, you should be fairly familiar with this. And this allows you to write the data very easily. Um, and so this next section here, we have our point data structure. Okay. And so if you're a more object-oriented programmer, or if your application is more object-oriented, this point data structure uh, gives you that type of feeling, gives you that type of class if you want to use it. Okay. Um, and then lastly, we have our pandas data frame. And so we support pandas data frame because it's widely used within the Python community. All right, somebody, this, this is great. Clearly, there are different ways to write data. You find the way that's most convenient for your, for your needs. And we can do that all with Python, a language that we're familiar with, and hopefully use that to uh, learn something new yeah. which, that we may not be as familiar with, like Influx. So yeah, that's, definitely. Sounds really, really useful, really powerful. So thanks for covering all this for us. Of course. Hopefully, that was useful for you as well. And if you need more information, you can check out our docs. And we can't wait to see what you build.